Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm going to be talking to you guys about exercise, metabolism, and healthy eating. Our objectives for today are to understand the importance of exercise, to understand how nutritious choices relate to metabolism, what foods to eat before and after exercising, and how to enjoy exercising. I want to go over some key terms before we begin. The first term is metabolism. Metabolism is a chemical reaction that occurs within the body in order for food to be converted into energy. Our next term is nutrition. Nutrition is the process of taking in food and using it for growth, metabolism, and repair. Finally is antioxidant. An antioxidant is a substance found in food to prevent harmful chemical reactions in which oxygen is combined with other substances. Examples of antioxidants are vitamin C and vitamin E. They can be found in foods such as spinach, blueberries, apples, and green vegetables. Next, I'm going to talk about some benefits of exercise. Exercise can help control your weight. Exercise burns calories and therefore can decrease your total weight. It also can help prevent health conditions and diseases. Exercise can help raise your HDL cholesterol, which is the good kind, and lower the number of triglycerides in your body, which is a bad kind of cholesterol. It also can improve your mood. Exercise releases chemicals into your brain that cause you to feel happy and can improve your self-confidence and self-esteem. These are some additional benefits of exercise. Exercise can boost one's energy. It brings oxygen to your heart and blood. This can make your body more efficient so you have more energy throughout your day. It also can promote better sleep. Regular exercise can help you fall asleep faster and enter a deeper sleep at night. And it also can be fun. Now I'm going to go into what to eat before exercising. So to help everyone understand this, let's think of your body as a car. If you don't eat the right foods before exercising, it's like you didn't put enough gas in your car before you make a trip. So two hours before you plan on exercising, you should drink lots of water and eat carbohydrates like whole grains, fat-free yogurt, fruits, and vegetables. You want to avoid saturated fats and high amounts of protein because these are hard to digest and therefore will take away some of the oxygen that your body needs to use when it's exercising. This slide shows some good examples of foods to eat before exercising. In our top left hand corner we have a slice of whole wheat toast with peanut butter and bananas on top. The whole wheat toast is a good example of carbohydrates that are easy to digest. The fresh fruit on top will provide your body with sugars for energy during your workout. Specifically, bananas contain potassium. It is important to consume this before working out because it is lost when you sweat. The next food we have an example of in the middle is a shake. Smoothies and shakes are full of fruit, yogurt, and granola all mixed together. It provides just enough amount of protein. The next example of food we have in the top right hand corner is apples with almond butter. These apple wedges and almond butter have antioxidants and carbohydrates for your workout. Finally, in the bottom, we have oatmeal with fresh fruit. The oatmeal gradually releases sugar into your bloodstream while you're exercising. The water and the fruit will keep you hydrated. Therefore, it's something great to eat before you plan on working out. The foods on the previous slides are great examples of things to eat before working out if you have a few hours to spare. But what if you don't have two hours? If you're exercising in the near future and do not have the two hours to eat the healthy meals we previously talked about, a good substitute is fruit, like a banana or an apple with maybe some peanut butter for energy.
So now you've exercised, what should you eat afterwards? It's really important to keep yourself hydrated, so you want to drink either plain water or water with a splash of 100% fruit juice. The fruit juice will give you some carbohydrates to add to your water. Examples of 100% fruit juice include Mott's All Natural Apple Juice, Welch's 100% fruit juice, and others that you can find online. Ideally, you want to consume carbohydrates 20 to 60 minutes after working out so your muscles can get back that energy that they lost. Carbohydrates are the main source of fuel for your muscles, so it's really important to replenish them with this food source. Finally, you want to consume protein. This will help repair muscle and help build healthy, strong muscles. This slide shows some foods that you can eat after exercising. In the upper left hand corner we have a picture of grilled chicken and mixed vegetables. This meal has a lot of protein that can help rebuild your muscles. The next picture we have is vegetables and eggs. This can be mixed together into an omelet. Eggs have a lot of protein and if you mix a vegetable like an avocado into the mix there will be lots of fiber and monounsaturated fat, which is a good kind of fat that your body needs. This meal is also filled with antioxidants. The next picture we have in our upper right hand corner is a tuna fish sandwich with hummus and spinach. Tuna fish is a low calorie food but has high amounts of proteins and carbohydrates which are important to eat after exercising in order to refuel your body. Hummus, which for those of you who have never heard of it before, is a brownish spread made of chickpeas. This can be used instead of mayonnaise on a sandwich in order to reduce the amount of fat in your meal. Hummus also contains a lot of fiber, which is good for your digestive system. By adding some spinach into the sandwich, you add zinc and other nutrients, which are good for your body. Finally, in the bottom right hand corner, we have a glass of chocolate milk. This is actually a good fluid to drink because it has sugars, fluids, carbohydrates, proteins, and calcium in order to help your body recover from its workout. This final slide has five steps to help us enjoy exercising. Step number one is pick an exercise that suits you. If you're social, try exercise classes. If you prefer to work out alone, try walking or jogging. Or you could buy an exercise DVD to do at home. Step number two is make it a habit. You have to give exercising time to become part of your regular routine. So don't get frustrated if it's hard to work it into your normal routine and start exercising multiple times a week. You'll get there. Step number three, build exercise into your lifestyle. Plan it around your day. If you are a morning person, don't plan your exercise in the morning. Plan it in the evening. And it's best to fit it around your everyday life. Step number four, do bouts of exercise. Break it up into small segments of 30 minutes per day. Don't exercise for hours and hours on end. That will deter you from actually wanting to exercise each day. And number five is keep going. It's okay to miss the day. Everybody struggles with incorporating exercise around their busy schedules. Try and get back on track if you fall off the boat. I hope that you guys learned a lot from this presentation. And thank you for listening.